Well, the 4th of July means hearing those loud booms, right? Fireworks can be fun, but they can be scary for your for furry friends at home. First News Weekend anchor Megan Lee talked with a humane agent from Animal Charity. She shares details on how to keep your pets safe. Fireworks seem to be a part of the tradition of celebrating America's birthday. Each year on the 4th of July, many families head out to watch the colorful displays or host large gatherings that end with a fireworks show. However, the loud noises can be scary for one member of the family. Especially when we're talking about fireworks. I mean, parties themselves are one thing with noise, but when you're getting fireworks involved, it's a completely different aspect, and most dogs are terrified of them. Shelly Marlowe with Animal Charity of Ohio tells me the fireworks can scare cats as well. Marlo says there are some ways to keep your pets safe and comfortable. Number one, make sure if your pets are microchipped, which we always recommend, make sure the information is up to date. Information like a current address and an updated phone number is crucial in an instance that your dog gets out. Marlo tells me that a fence may not even stop your worried animal. Even if you have a fence, um, make sure you're keeping your eye on the pets at all times. Um, you'd be surprised with what dogs can do when they're scared and looking for um, a way out of a situation. Animal Charity also suggests different activities for your furry friend. A long walk before you head out to see the fireworks could tire your dog out, making it more relaxed once the sun goes down. Providing a treat could work too. And then there's things like Kongs, like get a put peanut butter in a Kong and freeze it, give them something kind of just to like focus on. Marlo tells me that all dogs are different. Some like a quiet and dark place, others like the TV on to drown out the loud booms from the fireworks. There's a lot of things to keep in mind with your pets, but you'll know your pet more than other people, so I'm just going to find out what works for them. Marlo mentioned that veterinarians can prescribe medication to calm your pet as well. Reporting for WKBN 27 First News, I'm Megan Lee.